Okay, what's new on the My Vegas page over here? Not sure what else they can do with these updates. I mean, it's to the point where you just have to wait around to get loyalty points. I don't think they can make it any easy. It just spits out loyalty points? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Happy Thanksgiving there, Spinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And today, I wanted to check out the new Pacific Gold property on the original OG Facebook version of My Vegas. Now, last time we played, we unlocked the Sassy Lassie over here, which gives you up to a million chips to play with in the original version of My Vegas. Uh, now, I'm not sure what Pacific Gold is. We know that Sassy Lassie is actually the Burlesque Hall of Fame, and you guys know I'm a huge Burlesque fan. And I'm very much looking forward to burlesque shows making a big comeback in Vegas, assuming we can get the you-know-what under control. I'll put a picture of it on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and play through the actual Thanksgiving Day event over here. This is the last day to do it. And more importantly, we are going to win the Sassy Lassie over here on my strip. Not the Sassy Lassie, the Pacific Gold. So we're going to do it the same way that we did with the Sassy Lassie, and we're going to get lots of chips while we do this. Alright, and since it's Thanksgiving today, I kind of feel like we should do a food-based game over here. So why don't we play a little bit of Baking Blitz, maybe we'll play Feast of Gods. I'm looking through these games over here, I really want to find something with a mild Thanksgiving theme at least. No, nah, nothing looks like Thanksgiving. Maybe Feast of Gods is going to be our game here today, guys. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, it looks like Feast of Gods is going to be our game today. I'll probably just do a major jackpot. So we keep it about five and a half million chips. We'll go ahead and auto spin this and then uh, we'll see what we can see. So let's go ahead and see how many spins it's actually going to take to get one of those pipes over there. Then I'll mark down how many you guys have to do if you want to see one of these pipes. So let's go ahead and get started. On our mark, get set, ready, and go. Ah, really? What a tease. Okay, so it looks like you only have to bet 5 million to get at least one pipe. So if you put 50 million through the machine, you're going to get all 10 pipes by the looks of things. Let's find out if that's true. Wow, already up to four of those. That was fast. It's actually kind of interesting watching these two go in tandem like that. I got the seven pipes, the seven breads over here, and we're going to keep going for a while. Now, you do have another uh, five or six days to actually finish this whole event, so the event's going to go on through Thanksgiving week. Don't worry about it too hard if you're a little low on chips, and it's going to stream proportionately, or actually scale proportionately. I said stream because I'm thinking about streaming. But it's going to scale proportionately, and it comes out pretty quickly. So I estimate this will take twice as many chips to get through, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can do that. Let's go. All right, we'll see how many bricks we can get. Oh, and we already got a million from the bread over here, so if we can keep getting these bonuses as little as they are, we're probably going to get through the whole thing in one sitting. And we're already about halfway through. It really isn't taking much to get through these. Maybe just uh, yeah, every million or so you get another set of collectible items. Every five million or so it looks like. Yep. So if you spend through 100 million chips over here and at least get a decent payback percentage on that, you'll probably be fine for these first two items here. On both games, apparently. Although it looks like the bricks are coming up a little bit faster. Oh, and that's that. Alright. Looks like we got our bricks. We got our foundation laid. Let's keep it going. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Yeah, I totally didn't mean to click on that. But while we're here, take a look at the Pacific Gold. The construction site looks actually kind of cool. I'd like to zoom in on that a little bit. I wish you could walk around in this game. Kind of like you do in Pop Slots in, in uh, My Vegas Bingo a little bit. Uh, we'll have to look into that another time. Just getting like an avatar to walk around on that. Maybe I'll call Play Studios and tell them they should do that. And see how long I sit in that voicemail before they delete me. Oh well, that aside, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Actually, you know what? Let's play some Baking Blitz for a minute here. Maybe for the next two items, we'll do Baking Blitz. So, five million is still at least good for one item, and that's comforting. So, 
So it looks like the scale is a little more linear in these updated versions here, which makes me feel a little better. And I've already lost 200 million chips doing this. Maybe I should slow the bet down, but you guys know I won't. I'll probably just jack it up. Also not seeing a lot of bonuses today. Kind of a light bonus day. Okay, that didn't take too much, so it looks like we still have about 50 of those to go. You multiply that out, out by 5, and we're looking at another 250 million chips to possibly get this, uh, get this new unlock done. And then after that, it's another 75 times 5 is going to be another WoW-like... Oh man, that's going to be a lot of chips, honestly. If we uh, if we actually really do this, it's going to be 375 million chips. So you add that to the uh, to the quarter million chips to go, and I actually might run out of chips on this game if I keep going at this pace over here. Will it be worth it? And maybe if I get a bonus, it actually might all be worth. Oh, hold up! Are we getting a bonus? Oh, there we go! There we go! We're gonna do a baking blitz. All right, we got the honeycombs. Let's see how we do here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, one more, one more. Give me a miner, give me a miner. Oh, there it is. 1.5. Retrigger! Shout out to my man, man, Bridger over there. Oh, that's another 10 million. Okay, we're back in the game. We need two more. Uh, okay, there's another five million. If we can fill up at least two more of these, I'll be happy. <laughs> we need honeycombs with words. I never thought I'd say that. Oh, that's it. That's all of them. All right, let's see what the total win is here. Alright, not bad. 86 million. We're back up to 700. Okay, we'll spin it down to three more. That's another two. And we'll get one more. Okay, cool, cool. And let's go ahead and skip back to the other game. We'll go ahead and go back to Feast of Gods over here. Because I know we got that one loaded up, and I feel like that one's ready to trigger with the Serpent Jackpot, so let's go. Okay, it looks like our usual daily bonuses are helping out a little bit, but not by much. Oh, and there's the ham. Awesome. We're getting closer. Let's keep playing. Alright, and as we near the end of this particular quest over here definitely looking forward to getting back to vegas uh, i'm not sure when it's going to happen guys things are looking kind of rough here with the c19 in colorado and they're looking pretty rough as of right now with the c19 in vegas too uh, on the bright side though i've been seeing some really good gaming offers so I've got some good gaming offers from MLife, I've got some good gaming offers from my Vegas. obviously, got some good gaming offers from the D. So I think my next trip, I'm definitely going to spend a couple nights at the D, and then hopefully spend a couple nights maybe at Bellagio uh, with Wonder Woman. Not sure when it's going to happen, but I will let you guys know as soon as we know, as soon as we have a solid date where we're not feeling like we have to cancel because we're looking at 3,800 people infected in a day, you know? Or maybe when we have a vaccine and each of us has gotten the vaccine, whichever comes first. But we'll see how that goes. I'm really looking forward to getting back to Vegas personally, especially right now. Now is the time for deals. If you have a casino host, now's the time to uh, get creative with your requests there. It's the low season and people aren't going right now, so look into that. Okay, so just a couple more of the lounge chair and we're getting there. It almost seems like it's a hotel resort that they're trying to build for us here. I do wonder how that's going to go. I'm going to have to look that up. The It's not the Gold Coast, but it's the uh, Pacific Gold. I wonder if that is a real place in Vegas. Definitely have to look that up because I haven't heard of it before this. 
All right, we're down to 500 million. I think we can actually finish out the whole quest with our current chip pool, so I'm not too worried about it. Otherwise, I'd probably go to my VegasAdvisor.com right now to go fill up. Not a sponsored video, but definitely uh, the homies over there, so I'm gonna shout them out always. Check them out in the description box below if you find yourself low on chips, just by the way. Ah, uh, strong start, strong start. And that was worth, okay, one of the billboard at five million a spin. Another one there. All right, we're up to three. Yeah, so it looks like about five and a quarter will get you one item a piece confirmed. So we'll go ahead and do the math on this to see how much it really costs us to build a hotel, casino, or resort. Okay, and we're on the tail end of the uh, Thanksgiving quest over here, too. I think we're about midway through. Let's see how we did on that one. Oh, we actually finished the Thanksgiving quest now. Now let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see if we get anything interesting. Right now it's 480,000. So at minimum, we're going to be picking up 4.8 million, which will cover us for a spin. Um, the most we can get is a 30 times. So let's see what this bonus ends up being. Oh! Oh, we did get maximum! Okay, max bonus, max bonus, let's go! 14.4 million, so that covers us for the next few spins. I'm gonna hold on to that myself because I don't want to flip my timeline today because you guys already have enough Ace of Vegas on the timeline. Jeez, this machine is running so cold right now. I gotta figure out a way to heat this machine up. We're down to our last 300 million chips. I've never been that low, not in such a long time. Oh, well, on the bright side, we're almost done with the quest over here, and I'm really looking forward to trying out the new property to see if it helps us out a lot. Oh, it's finally done! We got the golden bonus from the Pacific Gold Resort. Um, again, I'm gonna have to look that up over here to see if that's a real thing or not. So now, moment of truth. Let's see what Pacific Gold really does for us. You guys ready? Drum roll, please. Boom! A thousand loyalty points! Not bad! And it's just loyalty points so far. That's actually kind of a cool feature there. So that automatically increases the work done over there. And this is going to go back to... Oh, this is going to come back? To 40... In 41 minutes here? That's actually kind of fast there. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll pause this for the next 41 minutes and see what happens when we click it again. Hang on, yeah, hang on for just a second, Spinners and Sharks. I want to see what happens here. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So we're going to see what else we can get comparatively. Oh, uh, that's about 200, so that's not bad. And then it's going to go ahead and try again in about an hour again. So that's actually kind of cool. So this looks like it reloads once every uh, once every hour or so. And you'll be able to get up to... Two oh, there you go. And Sassy Lassie going off for 500,000 chips right there. These little, uh, these little properties up front, these special little properties are kind of nice. Hopefully they build something else interesting. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we check out My Vegas, I think it's time to get back to the mobile games to see which one is the best. We've got the Mick Piggy to investigate, so we'll investigate that next and we'll go from there. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva.